My name's Max for Enter Gallery. That's me there tripping up the step on my way to interview House of Lucy. I was really excited for this interview and to speak about her upcoming show Ghost Town. But it wasn't quite as simple as I thought it might be. Can you just concentrate on relaxing? So after just under two hours of meditation, it seemed like we were finally ready to speak about some art. Or at least that's what it looked like. This section... Oh, sorry, my head. Your head, are you alright? Yeah, I'm alright. Okay. Um, this is going to be in... I can't, I can't concentrate. Oh. It's my crown chakra. Yep. It's misaligned. Can you okay. just stop filming? Yep. I found myself outside the house thinking, will I ever get to speak about the art? Will we ever get to promote the I show? I don't really know what's going on, to be honest. And it turns out we would, because Lucy had just got her crown chakra aligned. I feel much clearer mm -hmm. and able to talk about my work. Okay. So yeah, come back in. The, chakra, sorry about that. the crown chakra is fine? Yeah, definitely. Okay. It's, it's back in place. Yeah, Brilliant. it's just uh, the heart one I'm a bit worried about now, but it's fine. Okay. Yeah. So. My show, Ghost Town, is about the death of the high street and how every sort of, every town has now got this homogenised street of the same shops that you see across the country. So the traditional butcher, baker, candlestick maker have now been replaced by the fast food chains and shopping online. Yeah. And I don't, I don't have the answers, but this is just my... My, my vision, it's a reflection of what I actually see. And I was actually in a charity shop in Bexhill on Sea and I found one of these shop fronts. Okay. And I think it was a bakery or a grocery shop. And I just thought, oh goodness, like this has to be a Greg's. <laughs> so that was, that was the first one, it has to be a Greg's. So if I just take this little guy here. Um, so what, what I then did was I had to sort of translate this traditional shop front into the modern Greg. So using a mixture of polymer clay and air drying clay, um, obviously ceramic paint. I then built up this section here, for example, because that wasn't there. And then okay, so you actually add to them a lot. Absolutely, of the time as well, yeah. yeah, yeah, all of them, all okay. of them. I've, I've had to modify and amend in some way. Yeah. So after doing Greg's, I just thought. I want to make a high street, I've got to make a town <laughs> consisting of these pieces which are um, of sort of like 80s yeah. uh, hazel wear. And that is what has become Ghost Town. Absolutely. Fantastic. And then it kind of graduated onto the teapots because they yeah. seem to fit in with, with the whole sort of the theme of the ceramics. They're very traditional, they're quite twee and yeah. I just love the idea of turning this, this um, this brick one here, which is actually a coronation. It was a, it was a rover's return. Okay. Yeah, so now that's the weather spoons, and it's even got. It's a little bit gross. It's got some vom on the front door there, <laughs> and a little bottle. Well, that's probably the person that did the sick. What I find so amazing about your work, it makes people, it brings a smile to people's faces, mm. and I feel like that's something you really aspire to in your work. Hundred percent. Um, when it comes to pieces of work that have made you laugh, have you got any up here where you're like, okay, that, now this actually is hilarious. This is amazing. Um, well, maybe the guy with the traffic cone. <laughs> He's great. Because we've all been there, haven't we? We've yeah. been like, eating a kebab on the way home, and then you have this compulsion just to stick a traffic cone in your head. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I spent my entire university 
years with a cone on my head and then <laughs> graduated to like living on my wardrobe. Yeah. This lady, she, uh, she's my most recent. Okay. She is called, I'm going to have to put her down for this, working working from home because <laughs> she's actually in the park and she's yeah. not working. She is on the Gola Bingo website. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, she's meant to be working on spreadsheets. And in Ghost Town, how are these all, like, what can people expect from the show itself? Like, how are these, all, how are these guys all going to be laid out in the gallery? Well, they're going to be on a park. Okay. So we're going to take over the table yeah. and actually create some kind of um, recreational uh, space. Whether it's we're still working on it, but yeah. you know we're we're, we're going to be sorting out next week. And um, so they're all going to be living, not living in the park, but they're the inhabitants of the ghost town. So they're the kind of people that you would encounter every day. So you've got the boy on the scooter. He's actually called Scooter Boy. This was a lawnmower, and I turned oh, it into wow. a, <laughs> a scooter. All of them have just like these tiny little details. That must be so. She can't even at stand. times, is that actually, does that actually become such a task? I, I picture you with little tweezers over yeah. a desk. Is that is that yeah. what it's like? Yeah, I mean I was doing that yesterday. Like, like literally. Where, whereabouts do you? So I do all my sort of um, making stuff with polymer clay here. Okay. And like this. So this is my my little metal ruler thing that I was literally making tiny drugs yesterday with. Um, like I have to bake a strand of polymer clay and then when it's baked, like cut it into tiny, tiny, tiny little rounds using okay. this and then put them in the, the bags. So I don't know if you can see that. Oh wow, yeah. yeah. So that's what I was doing yesterday. An important aspect of this, um, this ghost town is to talk about the loss of community. Yeah. Which I think has happened since the high street has become much more disparate because there's no place for people to really meet and come together and be in a community because it used to you know it used to be like the hub so that's why I've created these cups of tea okay now you'll be too young to remember this Max but this is called barrel wear and okay. people particularly from my generation associate this with with church halls and school meetings because it was always this crockery that would be used and okay. in some places it is, it is still used, but still it's around. completely synonymous with that. So to me, sitting down and having a cup of tea is just, it's all about connection. Yeah. And I think we're really, really losing that connection. And that's why there's such an epidemic of loneliness as well. I, I have actually created a fictitious property company as well, which is a bit of a recurring Don't theme. Don't recognise this one. Yeah, so this is G. Reed. Yeah which means greed, greed. <laughs> <laughs> and they they are partially responsible for everything going in this direction okay. because the property prices obviously have gone sky high. Despite the underlying tones of darkness in Lucy's work, she also wanted to show us some of the more light-hearted, positive pieces of work. To have some light-hearted moments as well, a silliness and just something that, you know, just makes you smile. Um, and I really love this iconography. I love mm. pictures of Mary and Jesus and I'm always sourcing them and I just thought wouldn't it be fun to put them all together so they're all in our mother and baby clinic because <laughs> they've all got their Jesus. They're all Mary and they're all Jesus but they're just hanging out. So just when we thought the madness was coming to an end it was time to leave. But as I said the madness hadn't quite come to an end. Oh it's a shame we've had to wrap it up. Uh... Yeah I'm really sorry to cut things short but it's really important that I speak to my spiritualist. Okay, cool. I have them on speed dial. Um, but yeah, right. it, was, it was great to meet you. So Yeah, um, really good, yeah. See thanks, you soon, thanks, okay? Yeah, that's amazing. Bye. Oh, is that Gary? Yeah, can you stick a monkey on the uh, on Bangers and Mash running for 210 in Kempton? Yeah, no, I've got to go. I've got to speak to my football bloke next. All right, yeah, catch you, catch you next week. Bye.